Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And Ash Regan has pulled her thumb out and is actually doing something. She sort of lost the uh, the leadership election, disappeared for six months, started putting her head above the parapet, then a few months ago jumped ship and joined Alba, then again nothing for a while, and now she's peeped up again, sitting at the back, waving her hands till somebody sees her. And someone said, go on then, go on Ash, you can have a go now. And uh, she stood up and she's done something quite remarkable. And um, it's got a very good chance of causing an awful lot of trouble. And I hope it does. She is proposing uh, and has launched a motion of no confidence in the Green Minister, Patrick Harvey. This is over the fact that he won't accept the reality that is the Cass report. Now, for all her faults and my disagreements with her on many, many fronts, I always said about Ash Regan sitting on the correct side of the argument when it came to the protection of women and women's rights at the time, if you remember about a year ago under the gender, uh, the gender recognition for Rory. Uh, and she was very much, indeed, she, uh, she resigned as a minister over it. So she has got form of standing up on the right side on this particular argument. And now she's standing up again, this time uh, to protect children. So I must be honest and say um, I'm softening my approach towards Ash Regan. I don't think she's leadership material, but I do start seeing that she has got scruples. She's got um, a soul, if you like. Very unusual. Let's have a look to see what she's doing and why she's proposing to get rid of the deviant imp from public life. Here goes. So Alba MSP Ash Regan launches a motion of no confidence in Green Minister Patrick Harvey over the CAS review. And when it comes to motions, he is a bit of a motion, isn't he? Certainly one you've got no confidence in. Look at him. Oh, look, he's got his little sad face on as he's looking at the loss of his £100,000 a year job. Back to the back benches, still on 70000 of course. But uh, it's not quite the same, is it, Patrick? And then soon you'll be gone. And then, what, 2000 2000 a month, maybe, if you're lucky, after that. I think that's how much they pay you in Sainsbury's. Uh, the Alaba Party has launched a motion of no confidence in Green Government Minister Patrick No Friends Harvey. The party's only MSP, Ash Regan, who defected from to the party from the SNP last year, says a vote needs to be held into Mr Harvey's future for siding with ideology over evidence after NHS clinicians paused puberty blockers at Sandiford in line with the CAS review. In other words, he does not agree with real science, with um, studies, with statistics, with experts. He only wants to listen to uh, the, the, the weird warped views of um, activists and uh, basically child abusers. Uh, last week, prescriptions for puberty blockers for trans children under the age of 18 was paused on the back of the CAS report. Uh, this report, which looked at NHS services in England criticised the lack of evidence around the use of puberty blockers and other medical interventions. One of the big problems is that there is not a single report anywhere in the world ever that shows that puberty blockers are safe. Not one. And unless they can be proven to be safe, they should not be given to children. That's the first thing. Secondly, of course, is the fact that there's so many children who go through this and then regret it and want a translation back. And they're never heard. They're not given a voice, but they are the majority. It is over 60% of children who go through this regret it immediately. Often many years later, many more will regret it. And those who tend not to regret it, you don't hear too much from because the self-ending rate is 20 times higher than the normal sort of background rate. Um, so that's what happens to a lot of them. They, they end up taking their own lives because it is so life-changing. And most of them, both very far away, aren't even trans. But Harvey's siding with it. He is someone siding with this mass industrial scale abuse of children. And it makes you wonder what kind of person he is. Well, we know, we do know exactly what kind of person he is. There's no hiding it. One only has to look at him. Um, anyway, Alba says Mr Harvey, the co-leader of the Scottish Greens and weird runt, has refused on several occasions to accept the recommendations of the CAS review. Ms. Regan said, the motion of no confidence speaks for itself. 
the Scottish Greens wish to side with ideology over clinical evidence. Or I would put another way, they wish to side with the harming of children rather than with the safety of children. Uh, she says, I am hopeful that MSPs will put good governance first ahead of party lines and support the motion. Uh, if the motion is backed by 25 other MSPs, a vote of no confidence will be held on Mr Harvey, who is currently Minister for Zero Carbon Buildings, Active Travel and Tenants' Rights, and is destroying every single one of those that he's touching. Now, I think uh, all the, the, the Tories will definitely vote with Ash Regan on this one. There may well be a few in the Greens, sorry, a few in the SNP that will. Uh, I look at you, Mr Ferguson. No, Mr Ewing. Fergus Ewing, um, and I look at maybe uh, Kate Forbes, maybe a few others. Is 25 hard to reach? Eh, could be. Could be tight, but might might be reachable. If it is, and there is a vote, I wouldn't hold my breath if I was um, Harvey. Anyway, Scottish Green Party members are due to hold a vote on whether or not to continue with the Butte House Agreement, which officially brought the Greens into government for the first time since 2021. And of course, we um, we said there that, that if, if that's lost, then Harvey says he'll quit anyway. But I still think it's nice to get that motion of no confidence in, uh, just to sort of heap pressure upon pressure. Uh, Jen Bell, co-leader of the Rainbow Greens, the party's LGBT plus wing, says members are angry about rolling back of trans healthcare and the Scottish government ditching its 2030 climate targets. You see, because they too want to destroy the economy and harm children. Earlier this week, she said, unless something drastically changes, I don't see how it can continue. I don't see how the membership can go into it with enthusiasm and confidence. You, you have no idea how many people want it to end on all sides, all politics, everyone in the country. Uh, he said, this is the most important debate we'll have had in the history of the entire party, but it's clear the way things are. The status quo is not an option. Well, not anymore. Not anymore. It's, it is gone. It is finished. Uh, Public Health Minister Jenny Minto is due to give a statement on the cash review to, Sc to par Scottish Parliament later today. We shall wait with bated breath. Um, will she give the SNP's official position? Or will it be the official position is to wait and see? Um... I'm going to go with wait and see. I don't think they'll come out and make a statement. They can't say yes, they can't say no. If they say no, there's a civil war in the party. And if they say yes, the Greens have got no option. They will go. So it'll be the usual sort of mishmash and cowardice and non-answers to questions. I'm going to come up. So I think well done on bringing the um, motion of no confidence. Um, I think... The Tories, probably the Lib Dems, maybe some Labour will vote for it. There may well be a few, like I say, in the Green. So it may well have a chance of getting to a vote. But I think once you get to the vote, then it's going to be a lot tougher. The actual vote against to show no confidence could be quite an ask. But we'll see. Fingers crossed, though, eh? Fingers crossed. It's all go in the Greens, isn't it? Anyway, finished there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video, and uh, tips hat to Ash Regan for once. Till next time, stay safe, stay well, and I'll speak to you later. Bye.